Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to take you on an Easter egg hunt on a Mac for hidden Mac OS Yosemite tricks. Now, the term Easter egg is often used when developers hide little hidden treasures inside the programming language that not everybody knows about. So if you're a real Mac aficionado, you really want to know what these Easter eggs are because they're just so cool to know that they exist within the computer you bought and you just never realize that they were there. So if you guys out there have some cool Easter eggs, I'd love to hear about yours. Here are some of my favorites and hope you enjoy uh, this video. So what we're going to do is go to the terminal, so for the first Easter egg, and we're going to go to Go Utilities and open up an application called Terminal. And once the application called Terminal opens, type in this command, Emacs, E-M-A-C-S, hit Return, hit Escape, hit X, and then, as you'll see over here at the bottom of the screen, there's an X and an M. We're now going to type in the word Tetris and hit Return. And there you go. Using the arrow keys on your screen, you can now play Tetris. So it's built into the uh, operating system, which a lot of people don't know about. Let's try another one. Let's go to a new shell window. And again, type the word Emacs. Hit Return. Hit Escape. Hit X. And if for whatever reason you don't get the MX, start again, because you have to do it rather quickly. This time we'll type in the word Pong. And if you remember the old original video game, here it is. And so you can play Pong. Now, how many of these games are actually available on the uh, Mac? Let me show you. I have a listing. Would you believe it? All of these games are available. So for fun, uh, type in the same five commands. But when you get to number five, instead of typing the word Pong, type in any one of these to see how they work. It's pretty cool. So another item that's pretty cool is this one here. You can put this command into the terminal and you'll get on this day in history, which is pretty cool. So again, let's go to the terminal. Again, go utilities and open up the application terminal. And we're just going to paste that in and you can take that from the comments series and paste it in and then hit return. And here it gives you all the items in history on that particular day. So these are the famous things that happen on any particular day. And uh, I think it's pretty cool that it's in there and very few people know it's in there. So that was another little Easter egg. So we're all learning something new. Here is another one which I think was hilarious that a programmer actually put this in uh, to uh, the Mac operating system. But I guess if you're hungry this is not a bad one to have on file. Again, open up terminal, but this time type in this command, which again I will put in uh, the comments area. And boom, you have a recipe for, I think it's Mrs. Fields cookies. So you can make some chocolate chip cookies. So if you're ever in the need of a cookie recipe, there it is. Funny thing is that it's built into the operating system, so I think it's a real hidden gem and kind of funny. Uh, this is probably the most famous one here at the bottom, which is the story, I think, of Star Wars. And what you do is, again, you would go into the terminal, you would paste the command in, and again, I'll put those in the comments, and hit return, and it will start the entire story of Star Wars. So you can sit here and watch it. It's silent, so there's no music with it, which kind of uh, is funny, but it's all done in ASCII. So uh, if you wait just a second... Uh, it will start up so we could show you what it looks like. There you go. It's starting now. And it does tell you the story of Star Wars in ASCII terms. And there you go. So that's pretty cool that it's built into the Mac operating system and uh, not everybody knows about it. So if you want to try out some of these Easter eggs and uh, go on a hunt for yourself on your own computer. That's cool. If you have any Easter eggs, because I'm trying to find out if there are any more that I'm unaware of, uh, feel free to comment in the comments area here or leave a note for me and uh, we'll try those out too. Hope you enjoyed it and everybody have a happy holiday.